Hello, I'm Ian Duddy, Chief Executive to the Scottish COVID-19 Inquiry. This is Scotland's biggest and most wide-ranging public inquiry as the pandemic had an impact on all our lives. This inquiry is examining how Scotland responded to the COVID-19 pandemic. We have produced a few short videos to answer commonly asked questions about how the inquiry works. People living in Scotland are governed by laws made under powers devolved to the Scottish Government and the Scottish Parliament based in Holyrood, and laws made under powers reserved to the UK Government and the UK Parliament based in Westminster. The response to the COVID pandemic involved both Scottish and UK authorities. In December 2021, Scottish ministers announced an inquiry would be held into devolved matters only, specifically to investigate the Scottish response to the pandemic. The UK government subsequently announced in June 2022 the terms of reference for the UK COVID-19 inquiry covering both devolved and reserved matters. The Scottish inquiry's terms of reference cover the period from the 1st of January 2020 to 31st of December 2022, whereas the UK inquiry's terms of reference cover the period up to and including 28th of June 2022. Both inquiries have signed a Memorandum of Understanding setting out how we will work together. This agreement includes commitments to provide clear information about how each inquiry will conduct its investigations in Scotland to minimise duplication of work and maximise value for money for the public purse. The Scottish and UK inquiries are sequencing their public hearings differently. The UK inquiry is focused on decision making, whereas the Scottish inquiry has started by focusing on the impacts of COVID on individuals. When the Scottish inquiry begins its decision making hearings, it will have had the benefit of already listening to evidence from people affected by those decisions, as well as Scottish politicians, officials and other decision makers in Scotland during the UK inquiry's public hearings.